Welcome, dear seekers of wisdom, to Stoic Quest. Cynics vs. Stoics, a philosophical standoff. Dive into the intriguing world of ancient cynicism, where humor intertwines with philosophy, presenting a lighter side to the often austere realm of classical thought. This journey into the past reveals how cynicism, with its unique blend of wit and wisdom, stands in playful contrast to its philosophical cousin Stoicism. Meet Diogenes, the original cynic, whose choice of residence was none other than a barrel. His unorthodox lifestyle and sharp tongue offered a hilarious yet profound critique on society's norms. Diogenes turned the streets of ancient Athens into his stage, delivering performances that left onlookers both amused and bemused. The encounter between Diogenes and Alexander the Great is legendary, showcasing the cynic's unmatched wit. When Alexander offered to grant him any wish, Diogenes simply replied, Move, you're blocking my sunlight. This epic mic drop moment highlights the cynic's commitment to simplicity and disdain for worldly power. The cynic lifestyle champions minimalism with a twist of humor, proving that living with less was not only a philosophy, but a form of comedic art. Diogenes and his followers showed the world that happiness isn't found in possessions, but in freedom from desire, all while maintaining a sense of humor about their austere choices. As Stoicism enters the chat, we're introduced to Zeno of Citium. After surviving a shipwreck, Zeno didn't mourn his lost fortunes, but instead found humor in his fate, joking that he traded the wealth of the world for the riches of philosophy. This anecdote perfectly encapsulates the spirited banter between Stoicism and Cynicism. In the philosophical arena where virtue and happiness are hotly contested, Stoicism and Cynicism step into the ring. Stoicism, with its dignified poise, preaches emotional resilience and the wisdom of accepting fate's blows. Cynicism, on the other hand, throws societal norms to the wind, advocating for a life stripped of superficialities where virtue is the only necessity. The banter between them is witty, as Stoics aim for tranquility while Cynics seek freedom from societal chains, each claiming their path leads to true happiness. Enter Diogenes, the Cynic who famously lived in a barrel, flouting convention with glee. His life was a statement against the complexities of society, showing that happiness could be achieved with startling simplicity. His antics from strolling through daylight with a lantern seeking an honest man to shamelessly critiquing Athenian elites brought humor and a harsh critique of societal values into the public square, making him a beloved figure in the philosophy of cynicism. Cynicism's embrace of minimalism, centuries before it became a modern trend, offers a comedic but insightful critique of consumer culture. Diogenes and his followers showed that true contentment doesn't stem from possessions or status, but from living in accordance with nature and virtue. Their lifestyle, characterized by extreme austerity and a disdain for material wealth, presents a humorous contrast to today's obsession with the latest gadgets and fashion trends. Stoicism, entering the conversation, brings a different flavor of humor with the story of its founder, Zeno of Citium. After surviving a shipwreck that cost him all his possessions, Zeno concluded that he had found the greatest fortune of all, philosophy. This anecdote not only introduces Stoicism's resilience in the face of adversity, but also sets the stage for a philosophical face-off with cynicism that is as intellectually stimulating as it is entertaining. Imagine if Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, had a YouTube channel. His vlogs would likely feature serene walks through the Roman Forum, dispensing wisdom on how to maintain tranquility amidst chaos. Picture him calmly addressing his viewers, sharing insights on overcoming adversity, all while a bustling Rome carries on behind him. Transitioning to the modern age, Stoicism offers timeless solutions to today's first world problems. Imagine applying Stoic principles to the dilemma of a cracked smartphone screen or a delayed coffee order. The Stoics approach? Accepting these minor inconveniences as part of life's natural flow focusing instead on inner peace and the things within our control. Now let's venture into the world of the cynics with their diet. The cynics diet is laughably simple, possibly consisting of whatever is easily accessible or can be begged for. Picture a cynic casually dining on plain bread, claiming it to be a feast fit for a philosopher, all while mocking the extravagance of society's culinary excesses. In the ultimate minimalist showdown, 
Stoics and Cynics vie for the title of who can own less. While Stoics might argue for owning only what's essential for virtue and tranquility, Cynics would likely take it a step further, questioning the need for ownership at all. Imagine them debating the necessity of material possessions, with the Cynic humorously suggesting even clothes are superfluous. Exploring the living quarters of a Cynic, one can't help but find humor in their extreme minimalism. Home is where the heart is, or in Diogenes' case, a barrel, perfectly encapsulates the cynic's disregard for conventional housing. This comedic take on cynic living shines a light on their radical simplicity, challenging our modern-day obsession with material wealth and comfort. In the Stoic's Guide to Not Giving a Fig, Stoics navigate the choppy waters of criticism and gossip with unparalleled grace. Imagine them in comedic reenactments where they face their detractors with nothing but a serene smile, embodying the mantra that external opinions are as impactful as a feather on stone. Stoicism and cynicism in the workplace transforms ancient philosophies into hilariously applicable advice for surviving office politics. Picture a cynic openly questioning the purpose of a meeting while a stoic colleague remains unperturbed by the brewing storm of deadlines, embodying calm in the corporate chaos. How to offend everyone and still be the smartest person in the room takes lessons from Diogenes, who mastered the art of being both revered and reviled. His tactics involve a blend of sharp wit and blunt honesty, leaving a trail of offended peers, but also admirers of his unapologetic truth-telling. The Cynic's Love Life offers a comedic exploration of why cynics might find themselves notoriously single. Their stringent honesty and disdain for societal norms make romantic dinners under candlelight morph into debates about the absurdity of courting rituals, leaving their dates bewildered but thoroughly entertained. Stoic self-help parodies. Stoic advice for navigating modern-day dilemmas, turning philosophical wisdom into laugh-out-loud guidance for the digital age. From dealing with social media envy to the existential crisis of choosing a Starbucks order, Stoicism provides a humorous yet profound way to tackle first-world problems head-on. In an attempt to live like a Stoic for a day, one vlogger embarked on a journey filled with silent contemplation, cold showers, and a diet of plain rice. The experiment, meant to embrace discomfort and find peace in simplicity, quickly devolved into comedic mishaps, proving modern life and Stoicism are strange bedfellows. The cynic's approach to money is refreshingly simple and utterly hilarious. Imagine rejecting society's endless chase for wealth and instead finding contentment in the absolute minimum. One cynic's wallet contains nothing but dust and an IOU note from ancient Greece, showcasing their belief that true wealth lies not in possessions, but in freedom from desire. Handling fame and paparazzi with the wisdom of a stoic or cynic seems almost alien in today's celebrity culture. Yet, envision a world where a stoic celebrity meets intrusive questions with profound silence or a cynic dons a barrel for the red carpet, proving that sometimes the best reaction is no reaction at all. Diogenes' barrel, the minimalist home of antiquity's most renowned cynic, gets a modern makeover in a parody of MTV Cribs. Viewers are taken on a tour of a barrel outfitted with nothing but a bed of straw and a lantern, still in search of an honest man. It's a comedic nod to the ultimate in minimal living spaces. Stoic wisdom for the brokenhearted turns the self-help genre on its head with advice that's as practical as it is laughable. Imagine getting over a breakup by reflecting on the impermanence of relationships and the virtue of self-restraint, all while maintaining the Stoic's trademark poker face. It's a remedy that promises more chuckles than tears. Stoics have a unique way of navigating life's tumultuous seas with an enviable grace, often leaving onlookers both bemused and impressed. Their secret, a serene acceptance of what cannot be changed and a focus on their own virtue. It's this tranquil demeanor amidst the chaos of life that often comes across with a hint of smug satisfaction. They handle challenges not just with resilience, but with a calm that suggests they've got an insider tip on life's biggest mysteries. Diogenes, the cynic, had a different approach to public speaking than most. He believed in grabbing attention through shock value, often leading to insults hurled at his audience. This unconventional method was surprisingly effective, cutting through societal pretenses and forcing listeners to confront uncomfortable truths. It was public speaking with a side of rebellion, 
wrapped in the garb of philosophical discourse. During family gatherings, where conversations typically revolve around mundane topics, introducing a debate on philosophical ideologies can be a game changer. The Cynic's Holiday Guide would suggest steering the dinner conversation towards questioning societal norms and values, much to the chagrin of relatives. This method, though disruptive, injects a dose of reality and critical thinking into otherwise superficial exchanges. The stoic response to life's lemons is to make lemonade, a testament to their pragmatic optimism. They view adversity as an opportunity for growth, a chance to exercise virtue and resilience. This outlook fosters a life of contentment and peace, irrespective of external circumstances. It's about finding inner tranquility in a world that often seems intent on doing the opposite. Conversely, cynics might question the very intent behind life's lemons, challenging the status quo at every turn. Their approach isn't about making the best of a situation, but questioning the situation's existence in the first place. It's a perspective that, while seemingly pessimistic, encourages a deeper examination of life's truths and the societal constructs that shape our understanding of happiness and fulfillment. In the Emoji Challenge, Stoics and Cynics offer unique interpretations. Stoics might see the face with no expression emoji as a symbol of inner peace and emotional control, embodying their ideal of equanimity in the face of life's ups and downs. Cynics, however, might favor the eye roll emoji, encapsulating their disdain for societal norms and pretensions. When imagining if Diogenes had a dog, one could expect humorous pet care tips that scoff at conventional pet pampering. Diogenes would likely argue that a dog's natural instincts and desires are all it needs, poking fun at modern pet owners who buy gourmet pet food and designer outfits for their furry companions. Stoic motivational posters would transform profound philosophical insights into catchy, office-friendly quips. Picture a serene sunset background with the words, this too shall pass, a stoic reminder of impermanence meant to soothe the stressed out office worker. It's a blend of deep wisdom and modern meme culture, perfect for a quick chuckle. The Art of Not Caring explores the fine line between stoic indifference and cynic disdain. While stoics maintain a dignified distance from worldly attachments, focusing on internal virtues, cynics throw caution to the wind, openly mocking societal values with a sharp wit. It's a comedic look at how each philosophy suggests navigating life's absurdities. Stoicism and cynicism, if they were to author self-help books, would likely feature titles like How to be unbothered in an annoying world by Zeno and Why everything is ridiculous and how to laugh at it by Diogenes. Each chapter would delve into life's paradoxes with humor, offering laughter as both the question and the answer to life's persistent challenges. Imagine Diogenes wandering through the aisles of a modern supermarket, his eyes widening at the endless choices, his reaction, a scoff at the abundance, a chuckle at the irony of choice paradox, and a simple pick of a loaf of bread. To him, this cornucopia of consumerism merely highlighted society's unnecessary complexity. The Cynic's Guide to Procrastination wouldn't just be a pamphlet. It would be a single sentence stretched across a page. Why bother? In a world obsessed with productivity, this guide humorously flips the script. It champions laziness not as a vice, but as a philosophical stance against society's relentless hustle. The Stoics' workout regime would certainly raise eyebrows. Instead of lifting weights, they'd engage in mental gymnastics, practicing emotional resilience with every hypothetical rep. Their gym, any place life throws challenges their way. This comedic take on Stoicism highlights the philosophy's emphasis on inner strength over physical prowess. A cynic standing on a TED Talk stage, proclaiming the virtues of owning nothing, would be a sight to behold. With sharp wit, they'd dismantle society's materialistic values, leaving the audience both amused and perplexed. This parody would underscore the cynic's belief in finding happiness in simplicity and self-sufficiency. In conclusion, Blending stoicism and cynicism offers a humorous yet profound perspective on life. Through laughs and satire, we uncover timeless wisdom on simplicity, resilience, and the art of contentment. By embracing the best of both philosophies, we find a balanced approach to modern challenges, seasoned with a good dose of humor. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you next time, seekers of wisdom. Stay strong, stay stoic.